In this video, we're going to look at how we can zoom into our iPad or iPhone using the Zoom Accessibility option. Let's go to my iPad and iPhone. Now you may be wondering when I do these different lessons or tutorials, you may be wondering how I am zooming in on the iPad. You're going to see that I can zoom in here. What is this? Well, this is the Zoom Accessibility option. Now, I am using it to show you where different things are. If I want to talk about the Settings app, what I can do is just go and zoom in on the Settings app here. But what you may want to use it for is just to zoom in on text to make it easier to read. This is what I do on my iPhone. If I'm reading a menu, as an example, I don't have my readers with me. What I'm able to do is zoom in using the Zoom Accessibility option. So how do we turn this on and what are the different options we have for it? Well, the first thing that we need to do is we need to go to our Settings app. Again, we're going to look at this on the iPad first. So I go to my Settings app and then what we do is we go over to Accessibility. Under Accessibility, you're going to see Zoom. This is what we want to turn on. So I tap on this and now we can see that mine is turned on. This is how I am zooming in. Now before we take a look at a few of these options, let's first look at how it works. You're going to see below here I have instructions on how it works. Basically what Zoom does is it magnifies the entire screen. Now what I do is I have it instead of magnifying the entire screen, I have it magnifying just a portion of the screen. I'll show you how you can set that up. We double tap with three fingers to zoom in. We can also drag with three fingers to move around the screen. And then we double tap with three fingers and drag to zoom in and out to set the magnification level. So those are the three different pieces that make this work. So if I double tap with three fingers, one, two, I get my zoom. I drag around with three fingers and I can move what is zoomed in. And then if I double tap with three fingers and drag, one, two, and you can see I'm zooming, or I'm adjusting the zoom level here. I typically don't use that. It's a little bit tricky. So now, how do we set this up? So what are our different options here? Well, basically we have follow, focus, and smart typing. What these are for is the keyboard. When you go into a field to type, the zoom will follow that focus, so then you can easily see what you're typing. Smart typing will automatically switch to the windowed zoom when you're in a field. So with both of these turned on, what'll happen is, is when you go into a field where you have to start typing, zoom will automatically be enabled. If you turn the last one off, smart typing, if you turn that off, like what I have here, the only way that it'll follow the focus is if I turn it on. And then when I go into a field where I need to type in using the keyboard, maybe I'm typing in a URL in Safari, when I do that, then it'll zoom in on that URL so I can easily see what I'm typing. So if you have a hard time typing, you may want to turn these on. I can set if I want to use keyboard shortcuts. When I tap on this, I just turn keyboard shortcuts on. This is what I'm using to zoom in. I'm on my keyboard here for the iPad, and then I'm using a keyboard shortcut to zoom in. We can set which keyboard shortcuts we want to use. We can't change what the keyboard shortcuts are, but we can set what we want to use. So to toggle zoom, it's Option Command 8. So I would use Option Command 8 to toggle zoom on and off. If I want to move the zoom window, then I would use Option and Command key along with the arrow keys, and it'll move the zoom window, which is this little square that you're seeing. So these are our different keyboard shortcuts. I can also set if I want to use the zoom controller. This is going to be easier than the keyboard shortcuts. When I tap on this and I turn this on, you're going to see I have this little controller here. And now what I'm able to do is use this controller here to go and set everything. So if you're not used to using keyboard shortcuts, you may want to use a controller. It will make it a little bit easier. And then once you get comfortable with it, you may want to switch to keyboard shortcuts. So from here I can zoom in, I can choose what the region is, I can resize the lens, how big that square is that I'm zooming into. I can choose a filter, make it black and white as an example. And then I can also hide the controller. The controller being this here. 
I can double tap to zoom in and out, and then I can also set what it happens when I triple tap. I can set what the color is, as well as the idle opacity. So we have a lot of different options here. I can set what the zoom region is. So my region here is a windowed version. This is a windowed zoom. But if I just wanted to zoom into the entire display, I can do that as well. Tap on window zoom, and then I go to full screen, and now we can see it is zooming in on the whole screen. So if I wanted to talk about face ID and passcode, I move over here and we can see it's zooming in on that area. I prefer to have the little square, the zoomed window, so I'm going to go back over to windowed zoom. Now we can also pin it. With pin, what it's going to do is pin it to the top or bottom. I personally don't care for that one, but you may want to try it and see if it works for you. I'm going to go back. We can also apply a filter. This will make whatever is zoomed in black or white or whatever filter we apply. And then I can set what the maximum zoom level is. How far do I want it to zoom in? This is where we set that up. So those are the different options. What do I recommend? Well, basically what I would recommend doing if you're new to this is turning zoom on and then going to the zoom controller and using this zoom controller here. From here, what you're able to do is zoom in. I can click on the controller here to zoom back out. I can change the magnification, different things like that. So the controller here makes it a little bit easier. Now we have the same options on the iPhone. When we go over to my iPhone here, I go over to my settings app, and then I go over to accessibility. You're going to see zoom. It is turned off, so let's go ahead and turn it on and now it is zoomed in. I am using the full screen on this one. I don't prefer to have the window zoom on here, but we can use window zoom on the iPhone as well. So now how do I zoom out? Well, basically what I need to do is double tap with three fingers. So I use three fingers, that's the key is three fingers. I double tap with it, it zooms out. I double tap with three fingers again, it zooms in. How do I move it around? I take my three fingers and I can move it around. So if I'm on a website and I can't read something, let's go ahead and go to Safari here. Let's say I can't read this. What I can do is I can double tap with three fingers. We can see that I'm zoomed in and now I take those three fingers to just move around. Double tap with three fingers again, it zooms out. I do have a lot of the same options here. I have keyboard shortcuts, I can show the zoom controller. I can also set if I want to use a windowed zoom or a full screen zoom. I prefer a full screen zoom over top of the windowed zoom on the iPhone. And then I can apply filter and set what the maximum zoom level is. We also do have a controller. I can go and turn the controller on and it'll show a controller and then I can tap on the controller to zoom around as well. So that's how we use zoom on the iPad and iPhone. On the iPhone, I do use this on a regular basis. I just double tap with three fingers and I can zoom in to read something. Double tap with three fingers, it zooms back out. On the iPad, I also use it on a regular basis, basically for my training. So now what I'm able to do is move my cursor and I can zoom in to show you what I'm talking about. Again, what I would recommend doing is either using the controller or even just going to the three finger tap and just getting used to it. Double tap with three fingers to zoom in, double tap with three fingers to zoom back out. If you want to have a little more control, you can also show the controller. So those are our zoom options we have on the iPad and iPhone.